guys and welcome back. And if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Just click the button down below along with the notification bell and then click all. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five high-end home decor dupes. DIYs from West Elm and Pottery Barn. So let's get into number one. I am going to create some decorative orbs. I thought that I'd come with a third texture uh, to recreate the decorative orb that I saw at West Elm. I picked up a couple 3.8 styrofoam balls from Hobby Lobby. And I also have some leftover spackle from a previous project that I'm going to be using. I'm going to take this spackle and cover the um, styrofoam balls to turn them into a um, terracotta looking orb. I have this beautiful dish that I'm going to turn into a tray. You'll see that DIY to come. And I am going to use these orbs as a part of that decorative vignette. One of the things I like about using this spackle is that it's pink. So um, you'll know when it's dry because it'll turn um, white. As I mentioned earlier, I tried this technique before with a vase and I love the way it turned out. I will link that video up above in the cards. Then I just tap it like this to give that, to make sure I'm getting a, a good amount of texture. So now that I've got them covered, I'm gonna let them dry probably for about an hour or two. This orb is something that I already had and um, oops, so, and I don't use it anymore due to the decor color change. Um, I thought that I would give it a coat of paint as well. In this DIY, I'm going to make a river rock sculpture dupe that I saw at West Elm. I've got three blocks of wood. I've got some decorative paper to give me that rock look, that river rock look. I've got candle holders. Haven't decided which one would be best. I'm leaning towards the, the flatter one that can hold a tea candle or um, pillar candle. Or I like the shape of this one, um, which holds a pillar candle, we'll see. I've got three knitting hoops, I've got some black chalk paint, and I've got some Gorilla Glue and some paint brushes. And all the items here came from Hobby Lobby. So let's get started painting. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, is take the hoops apart. But I just want the outside hoop, I, I'm not uh, going to be using the inside hoop. I'll be saving that for another project. The gist of it is I am going to take and put them like that. My River Rock sculpture is also going to double as a candle holder. Since the block is going to be covered with my decorative uh, paper to make it look more like a piece of stone or a rock, I'm just going to paint the tops because that's the part that's going to be seen.
Now I've got all three hoops painted. I'm going to set them over to the side and I'm going to let these dry for a couple hours as well. using this to score the paper so that I can get a crisp corner. the blocks all wrapped and that's the top, that's the top, and that's the top. on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. So in this DIY, I will be creating a candle holder. I will be using this vessel that I already owned. Um, I love the shape of it, um, and I thought it would be perfect for a candle holder. And I'm going to chalk paint it in the color Relic. I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree um, candle plate. I'm going to be using some Dollar Tree adhesive. And I'm also going to use hot glue because I want a quick adhesion, but I do want it to be permanent. I'm going to be using a wreath a small candle wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby along with some floral accents to just to give it a little extra pop. Now the first thing I'm going to do is paint the base to my candle holder and the plate. So let me move this stuff out of the way and let's get painting. So now that I've painted the base and the top to my candle holder and they're all dry, I'm going to put them together. As I was saying earlier, I believe that I probably should have put these together before I painted them because sometimes having paint up here can keep it from adhering to one another as it should. So I did not paint this part. It's already textured and I thought putting paint on there might not be a good idea. So I'm going to take my hot glue 
first I'm going to use some um, fix all the Dollar Tree glue because as I said I did want this to be permanent if, if you know if I didn't want it to be permanent I would just use hot glue and I've got those two pieces put together I'm gonna take this candle uh, this candle wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby I'm gonna place that there and I'm going to use a candle that I got from the Target dollar spot put that in there that and I thought about adding just a sprigs of I don't really know what these are but they remind me of baby's breath and I thought that it would give me a little extra pop in between the leaves so this dupe comes from West Elm uh, for the men in our lives. I picked up this decorative paper from Hobby Lobby and it has a leather feel to it. I couldn't decide which color I wanted to go with. So this vase would be perfect for his man cave. Or since we're all working from home now, it would also be perfect even for his desk. As I said, I found these two vases. They are two separate pieces. Uh, but when I realized that I could actually do this and make them one, and it's kind of, you might not be able to tell that the vase is kind of angled. You'll notice in the dupe that they actually took the decorative paper and they laced it up. I picked up some imitation suede lace, uh, black, brown, uh, I think that's a cognac and a kind of a tan color. And seeing how I'm deciding to use this tan paper, um, I was thinking about going with the tan cord. So, I love using decorative paper in uh, cylinder vases. I think it just takes it up to a whole nother level. So I ended up having to put it inside the jar as opposed to outside the jar because layering these jars as I'm going to do didn't leave me enough room to have the paper outside along with the leather. So I'm going to do it on the inside. It's just as pretty. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of moss, a little bit of reindeer moss that I already had to cover up the styrofoam down in the bottom. trying to decide whether I wanted to use the reindeer moss or whether I wanted to use the river rock. Um, I don't know, the river rock might be too big. I like the way that turned out. I think that's just cute. I really do. In this DIY, I am going to make a tribal tray that I saw at West Elm. 
Um, the travel tray I already had and I purchased some feet that I'm going to put on the bottom of this plate to turn it into a tray. And then I also picked up a piece of cork that I'm going to use as leather straps, decorative only. Okay guys, I'm back. The battery on my camera died, so let's keep moving. All right, so we're gonna flip this over and I need to place the finials or the feet on the tray. The thing is, because it's arced like this, I don't exactly know where to place them. I guess I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right, so now that I got the feet on there, perfect. Now I'm gonna add my faux leather strap. I cut a half inch strip of the cork and then cut that in half to make the leather straps. works too but I like that that combination right there gorgeous and that's a wrap guys I hope you enjoyed my five high-end home decor dupes what makes these DIYs high-end is that you can display these items in your home you could actually sell them or you can give them to someone and not have them stick out and look like a DIY the wonder did you actually purchase this from Kirkland's or Pottery Barn that's what makes them high end. I love the way they turned out. What do you think? If you enjoyed it too, leave me a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell and then click all so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. At the end of this video, you'll see two links. Click one to see more home decor and all things home by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time. Bye.